we're going to do something really special with Adora. Since she's going to have changing interests, we're going to roll for a random skill, a random pet, and a random vacation for every day that she is a child. And we will go to a different place, have a different pet, and work on a different skill for every day until she's a teenager. And that's 13 days on normal lifespan. So she will be doing a lot until she becomes a teenager. Hi, this is Charity, and welcome back to the Lucid Legacy Challenge, a challenge in The Sims 4 by the Lucid Simmer, whose channel will be linked in the description below, as well as the rules for the challenge. Now, May has actually satisfied all of her requirements for Generation 2. So really, the only thing we are working on now is Little Adora. And why are you in the tent? I told you to go sleep in your bed. Oh, you're too scared. You had a nightmare, okay? And you didn't go to May? What May is working on right now is she's actually going to get some money so that we can furnish everything for Adora. So the way that Adora works is she is going to be a... Can you sleep in here? Yes, you can sleep in here. Okay, that'll get your energy up quicker anyway. So anyway, Adora is going to be dependent on mom because she's a spoiled child. And I know that's bad, but May has done her best to provide for her little one. And if you remember from the last episode, or actually the last couple of episodes, Adora's father, Trevor, has had his mind erased of May. So he doesn't remember May, but he does, however, remember Adora. And I think, yes, May has reconnected with him, actually. Oh, and they even have a little bit of romance. I have not played the save in a while, so I didn't remember. So they have a little bit of romance, but I think Trevor asked May if he could date someone else, and then he actually went on a date with someone else. So I'm not quite sure. Um, okay. I see Octavia Moon coming in. What are you doing? Is she supposed to be a vampire? Well, maybe. She lives in Forgotten Hollow. Um, but she's just coming in and talking to my butler. She might be a vampire. Well, May's not sleeping, so... Oh, here she comes again. She's looking for someone who's sleeping so that she can drink their plasma, but uh, the only one who's sleeping is little Adora, and you cannot drink from a toddler. So I don't know what you think you're going to do, Octavia. Well, we're sending Octavia home. Adora is actually going to be dependent on mom, as I was saying. She's a spoiled child, and she's also not going to be able to achieve her fame and dreams with her career of making music. So we are going to give her this area for when she is a toddler. And maybe we'll split it off into a separate room when she becomes a child. But when she becomes a teenager... We're going to give her the entire floor upstairs as her place. And I'm going to furnish this as like a loft apartment. And then we also need to buy a music store for her to run. So basically right now, May is just going to grind some simoleons. And then we'll interact with Adora when she's actually awake. Okay, Trevor Waterman is calling us. So this is going to sound crazy, I know. We're friends and all, but well, okay, here it goes. I have a crush on you. Phew, okay, it's out there. Um, So would you want to go out with me sometime? You're super cool. I really want to hang out with you more. Of course, let's go on a date, Trevor. Wow, really, that's so awesome. Oh, I'm so happy I worked up the courage to ask. Let me know what works for you and we'll go out. We have a kid together, Trevor. And we have been married in the past, but unfortunately, May used her alien ability to erase Trevor's memory of her. 
and then they were no longer married. Um, so yeah, he wants to go out on a date and little Adora is sleeping. Oh, she's about to wake up though. Wow, Trevor. I think you might be slightly overdressed. <laughs> he shows up in a tuxedo with a bow tie. Um, I'm pretty sure that is not one of his normal outfits. I have no idea why he's wearing that. Okay, let's say hello to Trevor, and maybe we'll just sit at the bar and talk. Oh, there's a VIP lounge up top. Oh, and that's where the bartender is? Well, let's see if we can have Trevor join us. We are a B-lister, but he is not. So I don't know if he can get in there, but he should be able to as long as May can get in there and they're in a group. Yes, and the bouncer lets us right in. Um, Kyle, I guess he's a property celebrity. Or Kyle Collison is here too. Oh, Cupid juice. Maybe if I order that, we can both become flirty. It's so cute. They're both chatting with these little umbrellas in their drink. And hopefully Cupid Juice actually makes you flirty. She keeps trying to talk to Kyle, though. Either that or Kyle's trying to talk to her. We're going to go ahead and ask Trevor to be our boyfriend. Maybe we'll get him to move back in with us. Yes, the Cupid Juice made May flirty. Now, is it going to make Trevor flirty? And they easily built up their romance bar again. Maybe she'll let Trevor in on a little secret that she is Adora's mother. And Trevor already knows that he's Adora's father. So I wonder what he thinks. May's just going to have to be comfortable with telling Trevor that she's an alien. And he's still energized. Okay, now he's flirty. So since they have a bed up here in the VIP lounge, maybe we'll fool around a little bit and hopefully not get pregnant. I just remembered that I might have Risky Woohoo on and May is only supposed to have one child. Well, <laughs> let's just hope she doesn't get pregnant. Yep, it's on because it allows me to take a pregnancy test. Okay, she's not pregnant. All right, so... No failed to conceive sadness. You're not sad about that, May. Okay, now he wants to live together. Um, sure, Trevor. Yes, we actually should have you live with us now. Okay, now I cannot move him in this way because we will get that bug. So we're going to just have to cheat to add him to the household. And... His, as far as his money is concerned, I think we did split that off from May's funds and give him the money to be by himself. So I think that money is actually mine. I might just take that back. Well, I guess the game decided for us. Trevor Waterman is back in our lives. So what is with this outfit? Yeah, I was right. That is none of his outfits. I have no idea why he's wearing a tuxedo. So I've decided to just make Trevor and May married again because they actually are married and they have a marriage certificate. It's just Trevor forgot. So instead of going through the ceremony again, I just reminded Trevor that he's actually married to May. Well, I have to be careful because May is actually starting to burn out because it appears that playing video games is not a mental activity, even though technically it is a mental activity because it benefits from the child aspiration for having a, a mental bonus for being a whiz kid, but yet it doesn't count as a mental activity when it's getting rid of your creative fog and when she's doing the videos and she's doing media production that is counting as a creative task so i'm having her play chess and she's going to be logical i guess i mean she's childish i did change some of her traits so she's now childish 
a genius, overachiever, geek, squeamish, and socially awkward, which is the traits that I wanted her to have. But unfortunately, The Sims lets you get your second three. So your first three you can pick as an adult, but then your second three, you have to actually discover them. And I just didn't want to go through that. So UI cheats, or maybe just regular cheats, allows you to pick your traits. If you go to shift click with testing cheats on and you go to cheat sim info and then add trait well normally you can pick in the drop down list personality trait but i guess since she has the max it's not appearing for me okay so yeah if you scroll through these you will see that there are no personality traits to add oh well, it's creatively gifted. That's not it. Well, anyway, so there are no traits for me to add. And the reason is she already has the max. So hopefully, so hopefully she won't be considered modded when I upload her to the gallery. Because I've had that problem in the past with other Sims that I upload to the gallery. Is if you use some trait system that artificially adds extra character traits or some trait system that adds new character traits that don't exist in the game, then your Sims will be marked as CC. And Trevor's just working on writing his songs. And then little Adora has gone to sleep because she's so tired. I might actually wake her up because she has to use the bathroom now. It's 5 p.m. on Christmas Day and Adora has not opened her presents yet. What? Why are you going out here to eat? There are plenty of chairs inside, and it's freezing out here. You're going to go sit on the fountain. I didn't even know that toddlers could sit on the fountain. Well. Oh, and here's Santa. He helped himself to some of my food. Now, if you have a toddler... And they're not very good at communication. Well, Adora is level four. She should be able to ask for a present and get a present, but she has to introduce herself by talking to a stranger first. Okay, it looks like Adora got a present, but she's getting it across the table. And she got a tiny teacher nesting blocks. Okay, she already has nesting blocks. We'll just have to sell them. Oh, and May got nothing but sadness and lies. And what did Trevor get? Life under a microscope? Well, that's a logical device. Yeah, I know you're starting to pass out, Trevor, but it is time to open presents. And we have a huge pile of presents over here. What? I did not get credit for asking Father Winter for a present, but I did ask him, and he gave me blocks. Why did I not get credit? No, Trevor, you're going to go there. And May's first, and of course she got a terrible present. A carrot! Yay! She loves gardening. Oh, and Trevor didn't get a good one either? Sadness and lies? Well, this is just a terrible Christmas for the parents. Oh, she got a wisp. It's basically a card. Okay. Okay, Trevor, we'll send you straight to bed. Okay, Trevor has work in two hours, but it is Adora's birthday. So I think I'm going to have him take a day off. Maybe he can call in fake sick and save a vacation day. Okay, he gets the day off. Now, the thing about licensing songs is that you can only license one song at a time for each instrument unless you use a mod. So what we're doing here is you can license a song for portable piano. And then you can also, I think, license a song for the regular piano. And so the piano skill should actually get you two different licensed songs. And then I already have one for guitar. And his next skill is going to be the violin. Now I also have to buy a piano, a regular piano. Well, it's Adora's birthday, and May planned a huge party for all of her friends and family, because really Adora doesn't have very many friends yet, since she's just a toddler. 
So I have about 40 people coming and I did this with a mod and it also allows the party to last up to 24 hours. So we will be celebrating Adora until we get everything done that we want to get done. Okay, having coffee doesn't count as having drinks. What about the sugarcane juice? Does that count as drinking something? Okay, the sugarcane juice counts. There are some quick meals from the fridge that also count as having drinks. All right, so the cake is out. Could we get some birthday candles, please? Happy birthday, Adora! Blow out your candles! Yay! And let's see, where are you going to age up? Somewhere around the cake, probably. Okay, the requirements for this generation is to be a music lover and self-absorbed. I really wanted to pick self-absorbed first, but that's not available for children. So we'll go with music lover and then artistic prodigy. I don't think that we will finish the artistic prodigy because she is going to be a failed musician. So we don't really want her to succeed at anything in life. I know that's very harsh, but that's the reality of this generation is that she doesn't live up to her dreams and aspirations. And happy birthday, little Adora. I did, however, give her the happy toddler and she was a top notch infant. So the top notch infant was because she was taken care of very, very well when she was an infant. And then happy toddler was because she got everything to level three, but her parents didn't push her to be a top notch toddler. And I think happy toddler is good for her particular story. All right, now everyone come get a piece of cake. First come, first serve. Now I had Adora step out of the spotlight so she will gain skills and musical instruments, but she will not gain any fame from it. So that's her story, is that she tries to make it as a musician, but no matter how good she gets, she never becomes famous. Oh, Trevor is feeling self-assured. Sure, Trevor, you can be self-assured. Okay, I'm a little bit worried that everyone is out here on the balcony looking at the first snow in their party wear, because they tend to freeze to death when they do that. Go back inside, everyone. Or maybe we should just cancel the party. We've done everything we needed to do. Okay, party's over. Everyone can go home now. Alright, there we go. Now they're all getting the hint. Bye-bye! I completely forgot to open her presents. Oh well. I really should only do that with May and Trevor, though, because I think it's a little bit cheaty to open all those presents and get all that free stuff. Um, I didn't mean for you guys to open presents. Oh, well. Maybe it's because it's no longer her birthday that it's not just opening presents for her. Oh, well. May got a large pet poop. And Trevor got a collection. No, Trevor, you cannot be hysterical. Trevor, no dying on your daughter's birthday. Go calm down in the mirror. Okay, Adora's just sleeping since it is after midnight, and we bought the best bed for her. So we'll be able to get energy really quick, because we're going to do something really special with Adora. Since she's going to have changing interests, we're going to roll for a random skill, a random pet, and a random vacation for every day that she is a child. And we will go to a different place, have a different pet, and work on a different skill for every day until she's a teenager. And that's 13 days on normal lifespan. So she will be doing a lot until she becomes a teenager. Okay, it's Friday and we're here in Brightchester. And Adora wants to have some rabbits. Now, I know you can't keep them as pets technically, but you can kind of try to lure out rabbits and you can befriend them when they come out. Now, I have furnished this rental with everything that the family should need, hopefully. I tried not to forget anything. And Adora is also into bowling. 
So down here, and I have built a basement and we have a single bowling alley. We will be doing the bowling skill today. Of course, it's the middle of winter, so maybe they will not come out. That's going to be very sad if I can't get any bunnies. Oh, look, we called out a bunny. His name is Thumper. Okay, so we have Thumper and Hopper. Those are going to be her two bunnies. Oh, no, he does not want to be petted. Okay. Now, my hope is if we buy one of these rabbit homes at home, she will actually be able to socialize with the same bunnies, but we'll see. Okay, let's try out the bowling alley. I've invited May and Trevor to go bowling, and I'm only going to do a three-frame game because, warning, if you ever try bowling, games are very, very long, especially if you have more than one player. Don't play a 10-frame game unless you have all day. I think it's so cute that for the kids, they actually put bumpers out. I remember having those. But they used to be like portable snakes that you had to put in the bumper yourself. The automatic ones, I, I think a few bowling alleys had them. But when I was a little kid, I think you mostly had to do it yourself. Well, that was a nice one, Trevor. Strike. Let's see how May does. Well, that was a strike too. You guys are naturals. Yeah, Adora is not very good. That just bounced off the rails. Let's see if Trevor can duplicate that. Oh, wow. He still had one standing. I've never seen the ball catch on fire like that. Trevor, aren't you going to try to take the spare? Maybe because they're talking. Stop talking and go bowling. Okay, May likes bowling too. Oh, that was a gutter ball. And <laughs> that keeps happening to her. I don't think Adora is going to like bowling very much after this. Oh, wow, that was a between the legs <laughs> split. Okay, that looked like it was going to be a good shot, but it ended up being a terrible one. I don't like how they don't even bother to try and pick up the spare. They should try to do the next bowl, but they don't. Okay, Trevor won with 34. It's already noon. I think I'm only going to be able to fit maybe two games of bowling in. And then maybe try to make some friends with these bunnies. Yeah, unfortunately during the winter they won't come out by themselves. But what I can do is shift click on it and call out particular rabbit or create rabbit in home. And... That will fix that problem. We're just going to say that May and Trevor actually bought these rabbits. And so that's why they're there. Oh, there's Thumper. He actually came over by himself. Okay, she got blueberry jam from Thumper. I don't think either one of them are going to be our friends, though. Okay, Adora did manage to befriend one of the rabbits. Hopper is now our friend. And it's only 726, but Adora is pretty tired. So we're going to bowl one game and then move on to the next house. But I think what we'll do is we'll stay here until midnight and maybe we'll sleep here for a little bit and then go on to the next house. Okay, it's 8 p.m. Let's see how long one game of three-frame bowling takes. I'm going to stop them from talking because Adora is really tired. Oh, she threw it up in the air. How are you guys so bad after you were so good the first time? Oh, Adora actually knocked down some pins. Okay, May won with a score of 40. Okay, here we are in Hennerford on Bagley. And this time we are going to take up cross-stitching and get llamas as pets. We've actually gone back to the old farm and I made one of the apartments up here available for 
mayhem and her family to use. So this is actually quite a nice change. For Rent allows me to have this family living here, while I also have about four or five other families living here. And it actually might be more than that because I had to increase the amount of rental units above six. And I think I have eight rental units here. So all of the areas downstairs are, no, May, you cannot die. Why are you hysterical? Okay, we must stop doing that and stop being hysterical. Well, anyway, so we're here in the old Denson farm. And I have eight other families living here, or seven other families, eight including this one. And since For Rent came out, it allows me to separate them and not have to merge all of the households and use cheats in order to cre increase the household size. So this is a much better solution because we might see the others coming around the farm, but we won't have to deal with them always being there. And I even set the greenhouse to be part of the other family. Oh, there's some stuff on the table. Oh, it's about to go bad anyway. And it's New Year's Eve. Boy. Hey, Adora, I didn't say you could do that. She just autonomously started a cross stitch. Well, and of course she pricked her finger. Okay, and so we have our llamas, Teddy, Tiny, and Cotton, who went back into the barn. I got her three because there are three animal sheds over here. And we're using the wool to cross stitch, or at least trying to, because I think last time she didn't use it since she didn't let me pick which one she was going to do. Okay, we're going to take Teddy to the Finchwick Llama Fair. Hi, Teddy. Be a good llama and try to win a ribbon for me, okay? I don't think we will, but hey, at least we have a good, clean llama. He's happy. He's not very happy, so he may not win. Why are all the toilets broken? Did somebody prank them? Okay, it's 7 p.m. and Adora is working on her second cross stitch. We're just at the bar. I wanted to go to the restaurant, but it seems like the restaurant is bugged with the Finchwick Fair. So hopefully we can get a result before midnight. And Adora actually needs to watch the countdown for midnight because she can't complete the holiday any other way. Well, it's 9 p.m. How much longer is the fair going to go on? It looks like the judge is still out here judging things. Okay, we did manage to finish our second cross stitch. So we did two cross stitches and we have three llamas. One of them is entered in the fair, but she really didn't make friends with the llamas. It's very hard to do so. I wonder what happens if you sabotage the TV for the New Year's Eve countdown. I've never actually tried to do that. Does it just break the TV? Okay, it seems like there are too many people in this place and they're all trying to watch the TV. I don't know if I won the Finchwick Fair. Oh, it says she got third place. I didn't notice. Okay, so she actually won a ribbon. She got third place in the llama competition and she unlocked the recipe for the chocolatey treats. Okay, at least that's something. And when we come back next time, Adora will have a new hobby, a new location to go on vacation for, and a new pet. And it looks like she's going to miss the countdown to midnight. Okay. Maybe not. Uh, she's not doing it like everyone else. Okay, there we go. All right, let's see what happens when we sabotage the countdown. So this is Charity. Thanks for watching.